This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist. So what is a rocket toss? Well, a rocket toss is a toss that occurs two plus yards outside the place I tackle. It goes from one A-back all the way outside of the other A-back. But the toss occurs at least two yards outside the place I tackle. Now, I've been running this since the late 90s started running it in New Jersey. We got it out of a book called The Toss, and we did it out of a, in, a, in a flex ball offense in the 90s. Then Paul Johnson started doing it in the mid-2000s, basically as a way to beat the blitz. Because when the linebacker blitz, it was one less person you had to block on the perimeter, and it took advantage of that. So that's really been the evolution of the Rocket Toss, and 20 years later, that's kind of maintain the purpose. Running rocket toss, the pin and pull scheme is the best way to do it because it gives your quarterback the margin of error to toss the ball two yards outside the tackle because if he happens not to and he short arms it, you have margin of error because number one doesn't run up the field and blow up your A back and now you're in second and 17 or you get a seven yard loss on the play. So what happens is the receiver's going to block, or you could be running out of heavy. The third guy in the surface is going to block down on the C-gap player to prevent that player from running up the field in case your quarterback short arms it. And then you've got an A-back, a tackle, and a guard leading the way. But the key is, is the backside A-back is going to leave. For example, here's when he would leave. If the cadence is down, ready, set, hot, and you snap the ball in the S to set, hot, He's going to leave on the Y and ready. He's going to take a big wide 90 degree step to 135 degree steps. And then he's moving as fast as he can at 90 degrees. He's looking outside for the ball. Quarterback's going to take the step. He's going to reverse out quick, underhand him the ball. It's going to go two plus yards outside the tackle. The A-back's going to run into it. He's going to reach for it. He's not going to look back inside because that slows him down. But he's going to reach for it, grasp it. He's going to run up the numbers and then sideline and then end zone. The whole goal is to get width and then get vertical. But using a pin and pull scheme solves the problem in case the quarterback short arms it. And then what happens is number one runs up the field. The C-gap player runs up the field and blows the whole thing up. So it's always been better from a pin and pull scheme. If you run into a two-man surface, your tackle guard, really nothing changes for them. The perimeter, if you got a place at safety, they'll switch block it with the receiver and the A-back. The receiver will crack. The A-back will block the corner. Uh, if it's a single safety, the receiver will block the corner. And then the A-back will block the first person who shows in the alley. You know, that's... The, the way to do it. And certainly Air Force runs a lot of it out of the spread formation and, and, you know, to a split receiver, but that's how you do it. The problem is if the quarterback shorts arms that you short arms that you don't have a lot of margin of error. So, you know, your guard and tackle got to get out there. It puts a little more pressure on them. Not that they necessarily block different people, but your quarterback's got to get the ball out there if you're going to run it to a two-man surface. But that was the issue the first decade I ran it. That was the issue. So it does not have to be a very expensive concept, but the key is getting these two synchronized. And, with, and of course, the center getting the ball to the quarterback. Uh, those things are absolutely important to make it go. It comes down to... The quarterback reversing out flat, getting the ball out there wide. The flatter he gets, the wider it gets. The A-back's timing, he's leaving on the Y and ready. Hammer, diagonal, diagonal, go. And he's looking to reach for the ball and then break on a 45, break to the end zone. But what's the rocket toss? It's a toss that occurs two plus yards outside the place I tackle. The whole design of it is to beat the blitz. Take advantage of it because it's one less player you got to block because... The blitzer cancels himself. Great way to take out the blitzing Mike. The rocket toss. It's the answer in 2024. It has been the answer for a long time. Coaches, if you want to win big in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website. 
Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy camps are going to show you how. Go to TripleOptionFootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come from the camps in the academy. I'll see you later.